Hello friends, you are all welcome to this video. In the previous video, we studied the surface area of a cuboid. Today, in this video, we shall study about the surface area of a cube. Manas and Thomas are playing a game of snakes and ladders. Thomas, it's your turn. Why are you taking so long? Throw the dice quickly. Wait, Manas. Did you notice that this dice is not cuboid in shape? Yes, Thomas. All the faces of this dice are square. So the shape of this dice is that of a cube. That means its length, width and height are exactly the same. So, if we had to cover this dice with paper, how much paper would we need? This is a math question. <laughs> that means, it's math time! Suppose the length of each side of this dice is 1. If we open this cube shaped dice and flatten it, its shape of a net will be formed and it will look something like this. Can you tell me what will be the area of each side of the dice? Each side of a cube shaped dice is square in shape. Therefore, its area will be L times L or L squared. Hey wow! So if we add the areas of all these faces, then we will know how much paper will be required to cover it completely. But the sum of all the faces of this cubic dice will be equal to its total surface area, right? <laughs> and look Thomas, all these faces are exactly the same. Therefore, the total surface area of the cube will be 6 times the square of L, where L is the length of each side of the cube. Wow Manas, we found the formula for the total surface area of a cube. Now, let us quickly measure the length of the side of this dice and write it in this formula. Then we will know the total surface area of this cube. The length of the side of this dice is 1.5 centimeters. In this way, the total surface area of this cubic dice is 13.5 square centimeters. This means we will need 13.5 square centimeters of paper to cover this dice completely. And Manas, what if we have to cover only the standing or vertical surfaces of the dice? The sum of the areas of all the sides that are left behind after you remove the bottom and the top faces of any cube is called the lateral surface area of that cube. This means that the lateral surface area of a cube with sides of length L will be equal to the sum of the areas of these square sides. But all these square sides are congruent. So we can write it in this way as well. Hey Manas, we also found the formula for the lateral surface area of a cube. <laughs> Let me write the length of the sides of my dice, that is 1.5 centimeters in the formula. Look Thomas, this cube shaped dice has a lateral surface area of 9 square centimeters. This means we will need 9 square centimeters of paper to cover the lateral sides of this dice. Wow! Today we learned two more new formulae. Let me quickly write them down in my math formula book. Now let us return and complete our game today. I will definitely defeat you.
Both the friends started playing their game again with great pleasure and enthusiasm. In this video today, we studied the surface area of a cube. In the next video, we shall see some interesting examples based on this.